Hello YouTube. All right, this is my setup for my 60 degree angle cut on the Gibbs. Um, so what I have here is the aluminum block that was on the vise. And uh, what I have it is I uh, put this uh, piece of wood, this is some oak, and I cut a 30 degree angle on the oak right there. And then I affixed uh, the aluminum table there, the aluminum plate at the 60 degree, well 30 degree, this makes it a 60 degree angle here. And then what I've done was, I mean, if you'd seen my other videos, I was having some issues, uh, but I would just like to show you how straight this is. Now, I originally started um, on the back edge here, not including the brass, and this was looking good. So I said, I'm gonna turn it around and look at this side, sorry, this side here. And uh, so I had to loosen these up and just straighten them out a little bit, you know, fine tune them a little bit. But uh, I want to show you what it looks like now that I've got it straightened out. All right, so I'll bring it across. <clears throat> you can see I'm set around zero here, okay. And then I'll go ahead and breathe the power feed and uh, we'll see what happens here. I don't think I'm going to get much truer than that. I mean, I could sit here and play with it for hours. If you look really, really close, we're going to the end. Let me slow this down here. All right. So you can see it's pretty straight. Um, now, I've got this on the um, drill truck, which is not locked. And so I'm just going to go ahead and grab it and turn it a little bit to show you that this thing is actually really in contact. So if I move it just a little bit, you'll see that it goes. So that's pretty good. More accuracy than I ever thought I'd get. And if you look at this taper here, you see it's really wide over here and it narrows out. That was using the uh, Craftsman vise. Now I suspect that if I put the cutting tool in and just put it right there flat on top of that edge and I drive the motor out, I will get an increasing angle, you know, and then I suspect if I take the cutter down and put it flat on top of here and I come back in the other direction that I'll have a pretty straight 60 degree angle. Uh, now just so you know, this is as much as learning for me. Uh, is anything, you know, uh, I could have went to a little machine shop and bought these Gibbs for 29 bucks, but uh, I don't have enough experience, so I really thought that this would be a cool thing to learn how to get some precision. I didn't want to quite do it this quick, but now's the time, so I'm just doing it the best I can. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you <laughs> the wood, <laughs> the wood there, the oak, is a higher precision than the uh, the Craftsman Vice, so I don't think that would be a good uh, sales uh, uh, sales motto for Craftsman. <laughs> you know, way it was like, why buy Craftsman when you could have used wood? Okay, but anyway, um, and I've checked my angle; is really close. I mean, I, I can't even see that it's a, a quarter of a degree out. Uh, I checked it with my um, where is it at? I can't find it, but uh, e even at that, you know, when I hone it, I can fine tune any angles that I need. So I'm going to conclude this video, and the next video will be actually I'm going to cut cut um, this top angle of this gib and the top of this one here, and then I'll get those at the 60 degree, and then I'll probably have to uh, uh, rearrange these two brass. Uh, Gibbs and they're just affixed the aluminum with uh, super glue. You heat it up, it 
just comes apart and then I'll probably have to rotate them over to get the other uh, angle flip them and rotate them so anyway uh, that's it for this video uh, the next one will be uh, cutting the tops and we'll see if we're closer I mean it appears to me that we're closer um, and then uh, hopefully everything will work out fine uh, anyway the uh, adjustment screws did get my table very true okay guys all right uh if you like this video please subscribe uh, and thank you for watching